can't drive one inch from the wall trading paint in this thing. Man, I've heard that piece can only do 190 miles an hour. I would feel like I was sitting still at that speed. I could easily drive this thing. Tony, I've got an idea. Well, that looks like, curiously, like trading paint <laughs> two, you and Lewis Hamilton are gonna uh, swap rides. Yeah, pretty excited. Um, you know, Mobile One gave us a great opportunity to uh, to do the seat swap again, and uh, we're gonna get to do it at Watkins Glen, of all places. So, uh, should be real interesting. Never have run the full course at Watkins Glen, but uh, gonna get a chance to uh, run Lewis Hamilton's F1 car, and he's gonna take a lap in the uh, Mobile One Chevy. And you'll see that June 14th, uh, same day coverage, eight o'clock here on Speed. Now. You've had a lot of success at Dover. Two wins and a bunch of top fives we talked about. Show us what it takes to be good at Dover in this uh, iRacing well, I'm unit. A lot, I'm a lot better in the real car, but uh, I do like the iRacing simulator. It's, uh, it's awesome. It does give you, it's the most accurate video game I've ever seen when it comes to the racetracks. Uh, the hard part is I don't have Darian Grubb setting my car up for me today, so we're, gonna, we're just going to do the best we can here. All right, so you're on the back stretch. Yep, on the back stretch, and uh, there's a really good bump that goes into three there, and obviously that's not the way you want to enter turn three. A little bit high. I'm a little hard on the first lap on tires, but you got to come down and let the car have its head on the exit here. And it, it's a big elevation change. You actually can see here how the, the car drops down in the corner, and it's it's hard to get the car to stay on the bottom. A lot of guys that like to dime in the corner to where they don't push up on the exit like I just did. Tony, I hear a lot of guys in turn one talk about the car landing mm -hmm. and that's because of the big elevation drop you uh and, and the same thing off of four it's the opposite of one you actually climb the hill here you go down the back or down the front stretch here and when you go off in the corner it actually dives down and it loads really hard right there and that's what a lot of times makes the the nose of the car wash up the racetrack and it's hard to get the car to rotate through the center and get up off the corner it's like if you get it tight enough to get through uh on the gas then a lot of times you're you're really tight on the exit, but uh, you almost have to have the car a little bit free through the center to be good on the exit of the corner. Tony, is it true then that if a, if a concrete track doesn't change that much during the race, that really puts the premium on practice and getting that car set up right? It, it does, but even, even through practice, you don't have track conditions like what you have in the race. It still changes. Uh, you know, there's obviously a lot more rubber that gets laid into the concrete uh, during the race than practice, and it always uh, makes the cars handle a little different because of the rubber on the racetrack. It's not so much the surface changing as much as it's uh, the rubber that's getting laid in the racetrack by the cars. Got it. Tony, uh, I'm going to let you practice because I mean, we're obviously watching this. I need it. So. <laughs> you need it. Hey, thanks for spending time with us. It's All been right, a buddy. lot of fun. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back to cap the hub right after this. NASCAR Race Hub is brought to you by Valvoline Next Gen. Introducing Valvoline Next Gen. 50% recycled oil, 100% Valvoline protection.